In this session, <coughs> we will talk about the sequential importance sampling example. Okay. <coughs> First of all, we need to define the one thousand number of particles. Okay, and t is the equals to what fifty, and so this is equals to number of time steps. Okay, and allocate arrays for the what the x zeros t one this is true state and y <coughs> zeros t one <coughs> observation okay so initialize true states with the what x1 is equals to 0 that one for example and also we need to define the v rand n t1 okay <coughs> this is the process noise and w is equals to rand n t1 this is the measurement noise okay so we need to generate true states and observation okay for k equals to to t and xk is equals to the x k minus 1 2 plus 25 x k minus 1 divided by 1 plus x k minus 1 over 2 plus 8 times cosinus 1 dot 2 times k plus v k minus 1 okay <coughs> and also we need to define the y x dot over 2 divided by 20 plus w okay <coughs> these are the emulation and so we can plot the what the x values in here just like this one right mm. or the y value so if i run this code just see that this is equals to what to do this one okay or the true state is given in here but this is the noisy signal and also hold on plot y the two of them is seen just like this one okay so we have a many noise in here <coughs> but using the particle filter we need to initialize just like the powerpoint writings okay particles zeros and t n is the number of particles in here the weights is equals to zeros and t okay and also particles <coughs> first prior values run n n one okay this is the first prior values we set the random values assigned to this one and also the weights one is equals to what the ones and one divided by n this is the normalization values of this term and so after that the sequential importance sampling can be done by using the these terms okay for example the four k up to two to t and n should be given in here first of all we need to write the prediction values vk <coughs> is equals to what around n and one okay at each case we take sample process noise in here these are random values and particles is generated with the k and particles with the what total values k minus one divided by two plus 25 no 25 dot particles total value k minus 1 okay 
and so that division operator one plus particles double that or the whole elements at the row k minus one and also over q plus eight times cosinus one dot two times k plus v k okay <coughs> these are the particle this is the same with the system because we have the nonlinear system in here and instead of using the x we define the particles in here with the random values okay <coughs> <coughs> and we need to take the samples from it after that we need to write the update rule yk is equals to y with the index of the k okay and after that the compute the likelihood manually okay and so h xk is equals to what the particles double dot k dot over 2 divided by 20 okay and so residual values is equals to what the yk real observation and h x k it's the what it's the computed h x k and so the likelihood is given by exponential term 0 dot 5 minus 0 dot 5 times residual dot over 2 because since r is equals to 1 in here okay <coughs> After that, we need to update weights. Weights <coughs> double dot k. Weights double dot k minus one. Okay. Dot times likelihood. Okay. And also we need to normalize weights in here. The weights. K is equal to what the weights K divided by sum of weights with the what with this one okay <coughs> and after that for example if you need to resampling in here see and EFF is equal to the 1 divided by summation of the total number weights for whole samples k dot over 2 just see that the weight first component is the n and n is the 1000 and so we have the 1000 weights in here just like this one and so if n eff smaller than n divided by 2 okay <coughs> so cumulative sum is the com sum function can be called in here this is the discrete integration operator for each weight okay and so u0 is equals to rand n but n is the simple random number and u is equals to u0 plus 0 to n minus 1 transpose divided by n okay so see this u is resampling in here and after that the indices of the water zeros and 1 we have 1000 times 1 vector in here and i is equal to the 1 for j is equal to 1 and and okay <coughs> and after that we need to what while u j value is bigger than cumulative sum i value this is the simple summation operator in here and i is equal to i plus one okay and so the end should be given in here and in this is j should be equalized with the i okay and after that the particles double dot k must be assigned with the particles in this is n k okay 
and also the weights must be <coughs> reassigned with the what with this term equals to the ones and one divided by n okay <coughs> so estimate the states can be done with what the x estimate sum of the whole particles dot times weights in here because we complete the whole the particle process in here just like this one okay and after that if we run this code and then we will have no error in here <coughs> and also we need to plot it <coughs> figure plot 1 t x k line white q okay hold on and plot x x estimate in here and this is the red one okay after that x table time step y label state but we have two legend in here true state and the estimated state in here okay and grid one must be open in this case so if i run this code see here um sorry um, that's the k1 maybe it's good <laughs> okay see <coughs> we have true state at the uh, black line but the estimated state under the what under the noise signal we have reached to what to this one okay in the particle filter and so how we can increase the values of the what the correct numbers if you want to increase the r probable trait and so the number of particles must be increased in here <coughs> i'm waiting for the process just see that this is so close to the real response and also we can increase it to 20,000th value in here in the particles our solution is more more closing to the real one but this is not useful for the real-time process but just see that under the noisy signals just see that this is the water closing to the each other in this signal formation okay <coughs> <coughs> If I push the what to increase or just see that if we have the 100 and time steps for example 500 in here we take the 100 samples and so our signal just see closing to each other but if I choose the what to increase the 10,000 in here in this initialization process and so this particle filter is more and more closing to the real one because the likelihood is updated and so the whole the weights is multiplied with the likelihood and the new update weights obtained and normalization process is given here and so the resampling and the another one must be taken from this one okay no, i'm sorry <coughs> one again see this is closing to the what to the real response if we increase the number of particles and so we are closing to the real one just see that and so this is the 15 and so 100 for example must be assigned can be assigned in here and so just see for example the 1 million particles but we have a lot of time to solve this equation and so the most probable way to what to this signal to the what to the r real state okay or we can compare the what the x or y values in here just like this one see this is the y value our observed value but our signal 
which is given here. For example, if we want to build the algorithm of this one, and so our noise signal is broken in here. Too many blocks, just like this one. Noisy signal. And so if I rerun this code, and this is the blue line, I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> In order to understand what the effectiveness of the water particle filter, just see that. We observe the blue line in here, just like this one, blue line. But in our particle filter, true state is what is black line. Just see, at what, at the x is 3, normally we obtain this data, but the particle filter understands what the r values must be what must be at the downside of the water zero. See, this is a huge advantage. In the unscented Kalman filter or the normal compound filter or the what, <coughs> or the extended Kalman filter, we can't have this kind of process. But in this case, we can approximate the true state in the particle filter because we can estimate what the Gaussian and the non-Gaussian noises in here, okay? So that's all for this example. In the next lesson, we will solve the particle filter example for the DC motor system.